it is written in our prophecy that we shall find the true white brother who will help us join together to build humanity. There is a place for everyone. We are the chosen people. Give back our holy land. We are the ever forest. We are great spirits. Now, in this particular area with these two stumps where the structure is, I've seen a lot of structures built there repeatedly. It's been going on for two or three years. Some of them I'm pretty sure were Sasquatch um, for various reasons. Now, I admit that this one looks like something that kids would build, like a fort. Uh, you know, and I'm using discernment, so... It's really hard to tell. It's like I said, it's an inexact science. But there is something um, worth noting. I've got a very high quality uh, point and shoot camera um, and it takes great clear pictures. Never takes fuzzy pictures. And yet, um, in this particular shoot, if you notice, I included a few really fuzzy pictures and I had a lot more I took that were fuzzy. The majority of them were. And um, that usually indicates that there's some energy or something around um, generally the Sasquatch people. They can distort the energy and make pictures look all weird and uh, do all kinds of stuff with pictures. So I find that uh, point very interesting. Um, very revealing. Um, you know, structures, like I said, have frustrated me for a long time because I've had answers telepathically and that they have made them, particular ones that I was looking at when I was questioning them. But I've also uh, come across uh, areas where kids make them. And, uh, you know, quite often they look very similar. So it's, uh, it is an inexact science. So it's, um, well, it's kind of frustrating. <laughs> but uh, so I don't really know if kids made this particular one or not. But I do think because the pictures are fuzzy and out of focus, uh, and I, like I said, I included some for you to look at, um, which is against who I am because I'm, I'm very much a perfectionist with my pictures and stuff. So I hate 
including pictures like this, but I'm doing it for uh, to make a point. So whether the Sasquatch made this or not, I do feel that they were around when I was taking the pictures, and I, I could kind of sense them too. I uh, had that sense that they were around. So what that says about the structure, I'm not sure. Uh, was a Sasquatch made? Very possibly. Was it human made? Very possibly. Um, you know, I really do like to use discernment because if we if we don't, then we just get too far out there as far as, you know, like everything is Sasquatch or everything is paranormal. And uh, I don't want to fall into that trap. So I'm just uh, pointing some things out. Um, and uh, yeah. Back up my favorite areas again. My friends have been around here. Very simple design, but uh, yeah, there you go. Just a bunch of sticks piled up against that, that big uh, log. Some moss. Over here we got some interesting things. Check this out. Stuck in the ground. Over here. Hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting. Looks like my friends have been around here. Nothing to write home about, but uh, this wasn't here last time I was here. None of this stuff. Kind of cool. Yeah, typical stick leaned up against a tree. I don't believe that's a walking stick somebody left. A little too fragile for that. Well, let's see, it's getting close to the end of July. September, I will be here for a week with whoever ends up showing up for the RE and family camp out. Ah. Some more stuff. Typical. Sticks leaned up against trees. I think the sticks uh, to me represent uh, three individuals. And um, size of the sticks are indicative of the size and our age of the individual, too. Well, that's pretty interesting. There are three around here. Yeah, some definite signs they've been around, but uh, nothing that's blowing my shorts off. Just regular, subtle little things. Beautiful night, other than the uh, mosquitoes. Geez, they were biting like crazy last night, and uh, they're not that great tonight. See, it feels kind of vibey to me. All right, well, uh, 
they've been making structures on this thing for quite a long time, or somebody has. And uh, looks completely different today. Oh yeah. Absolutely completely different. That red thing on there. Oh, it's just some red cloth. Yeah. Brand new. Is that you guys or is that just regular old kids? Like I said, structures are so frustrating. You know, to reiterate, and I hate repeating myself all the time, kids, people, the Sasquatch all make these. Sometimes it's hard to differentiate who made what, but let's have a look on the other side and see what we can see. Oh my God. Yeah, I just don't know. That almost looks human made. I just don't know. That could definitely serve as a human fort. So it's tough. But uh, I like to the fact that look at all these sticks on the little pathway here. I'm not sure why anybody would do that. Why would they want to walk on these? They're not really that comfortable. Hmm. I don't know guys. This is always going to be a mystery to me. Like I said, I know for sure people make these. I know for sure Sasquatch makes these. Now, if I was a person, I don't think that I would put all those sticks there on that entrance in. But who knows? Who knows? string which isn't the end all because we know that Sasquatch and people use string. Hmm. Anything in there? Really? But I can see a, a kid going in there, using it as a fort. I don't know. I've seen these two stumps utilized a lot. Um, most of the time, first few times I saw it, it definitely looked like Sasquatch to me. My opinion. This time, really undecided really undecided. So, you know, we know Sasquatch use string. They've proven that to me because um, I had that show when I was talking to uh, Leanne Carnegie and she was talking about string and structures and then right after the show, the pork and bean show, uh, off I went. What did I find? A new structure that I had just visited the day before that area and I uh, wouldn't have missed it, made with string and there was no real practical purpose for it be human at all. So, I don't know. The mystery continues. The mysteries continue. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, glyphs, much easier to figure out. These things. Yeah, so like I said, I'm a hundred percent sure people make these. 
you know, the hairless type. And I'm 100% sure Sasquatch make them. But uh, many times I'm not sure who made what. But I do know that this particular, these particular stumps here are often used. They've been using them for years, whoever is using them. Some of them definitely look like Sasquatch designs. Some of them I'm uncertain of. I don't know though. Just a thought. If you were going to make a, a walkway into a little fort why would you put all those sticks there okay i just noticed something really really interesting uh looking back on this video as you can see at the very front of the uh entrance way there's an egg lift. um you know that leans heavily towards sasquatch so yeah that big structure is interesting so here's the thing this has been here for a while That Sasquatch made. There's just no way a person would do that. Now I know that when I say there's no practical reason or whatever, some people do stuff just for art. Um, people to do all kinds of things, but I just really don't see a person doing that. And that's the case with a lot of the simpler things. So here's the dilemma. You know, that may be human made, but we also know I also know that the Sasquatch are around here. Well, I mean, I've had interaction with them here many times. Uh, this is the place where I hold my gathering and uh, we've had amazing stuff happen here, healings, uh, incredible things. So we know they're here. I'm pretty damn confident that that Sasquatch made, but uh, like I said, you know, Sasquatch showed me in a, in a number of ways that they use string. I thought, you know, pondered, well, you know, or this human may look at the string or whatever, and then got the answer in a glyph right below my feet. Uh, for instance, uh, a T glyph, where the um, one peel stick was uh, a stick, but the horizontal piece, the cross piece was the exact string that I was pondering and uh, you know just happened to find it just as I had the thought so you know that was like the definite answer so and then like I said the Leanne Carnegie thing so I know they use string I just don't know, you know, those, I hate to be indecisive, and I'm not usually about most of the things, uh, you know, like the lessons, the core truths, all that kind of stuff, that stuff is on a whole different level, that stuff uh, is what they're teaching me, it's uh, downloads, it's, um, you know, universal teachings and stuff, so I, I don't doubt that, the glyphs are another thing that I, 100% don't doubt, but uh, rock stacks and structures in many cases are a different thing. Like I said in the book that I'm uh, just about finished, a chapter called The Inexact Science of Rock Stacks and Structures, or the opposite way, structures and rock stacks, and boy is that ever true. <sighs> Anyway, I guess it's nice to have some mysteries to ponder, and uh, that's definitely one.